Hey guys, it's Bill Vinci from the Empire Plate Show. Today we're back in Sylvan Beach, New York, going to a place called Boneyard Barbecue. Now this place is new, it's unique, it's got all barbecue, sweet looking bar, we got live music tonight, it's gonna be a fun night. Why don't we go inside and see Donnie and Toby, check out what they got planned for us. Come on, follow me in. Donnie Carbone and Cookie, how you guys doing tonight? Great. Good to be here at the Boneyard Barbecue, man. We've been talking about this for a while now, when we, I first came up to meet with you. We have been, and uh, you were with me, uh, what, uh, not even a week or so ago? Yeah. <laughs> Carbone's Beachside. <laughs> Over at Carbone's Beach site. Absolutely. Had Glad to have you back, brother. Absolutely. Good to be back. Now, we got something a little bit different tonight, though. We're a little bit different from across the street. So tell us a little bit about this place and what you guys are bringing to the area. Um, okay, Bell, uh, this place is a banquet, catering, and barbecue. And we uh, set up the front of ours out of Utica mm -hmm. with Boneyard Barbecue. And um, it's probably, I don't like to be prejudiced, but it's probably the best barbecue you ever had. And uh, I'll let you make that decision. I'll be trying some stuff, to yeah. viewers later, uh -huh. we're gonna bring you a little bit of a uh, smorgasbord of what we have. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a different venue. Mm -hmm. And we do catering, we do banquets, and we do barbecue, full bar. Yep. So it's back to what we uh, uh, interviewed over at Carver the Beachside uh, a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. Two bars, two restaurants, one great time. So you got uh, wherever you want to go, you get what you want, plenty of parking. Sure. Uh, an important factor of our success is this cat over here, mm -hmm. Ryan Bell. Uh, Ryan is our cook master. He does this out of his love and nothing more. He drives here when needed. He helps us out um, and it's a... Uh, He's a saving grace, but he's uh, he's a great kid and does a hell of a barbecue. So, Absolutely. and he does it out of his heart. That's it. That's well, that's key. That's all. That food does is out made of out heart. of love. I mean, right? That's a, so. Cookie, tell us a little bit about the menu and what you kind of brought here to the restaurant. I guess I can put it over the south and upstate New York. Okay. Um, you really can't get any better than that, you know. I bring a different flavor of that, so I'm not gonna say. Y'all have some pretty good barbecue places up there, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm not gonna say I bring originality, but I'm from South Louisiana, born and raised. Okay. So, so you are bringing that South up, up to upstate New York. Yes, it's a, a tradition in my family. So tell me a few things on the menu, some of the specialty things that you make. Uh, we do a, I do a Texas style brisket. Okay. All right. Um, I spent about 10 years in Texas. Being from Louisiana, I learned to, um, some different avenues of cooking, but when you go to Texas, you're just trying to absorb different culture, but bring that up here. Okay. You know, it's simple. You're not mm -hmm. trying to reinvent the wheel, but it's all about time and temperature. So I can't wait to try some of that. You got a lot of good food coming out of that kitchen. You're, you're going to sample it tonight, and uh, I want an honest opinion to your viewers. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? Whether you like it or whether you don't? You don't hurt my feelings. Everybody's got a different uh, palate and a different flavor. Absolutely. But I uh, I will find it very difficult to believe if uh, you give me a bad review. But if you do... Hey man, announce it to the world. I got no shame to it. I got a feeling that's not going to happen tonight. I, I got confidence in Cookie and Donnie here. So we're looking for a fun night. We got some live music out there. They're already playing. The bars packed. People are coming in. It's going to be a fun night. So Donnie, thank you for having us back. Cookie, good meeting you. We're going to try some of your food next. We're going to we're see that stuff come out. All right, guys, we're going to see it at the table. All the food's going to be coming out pretty soon. Probably going to hit the bar next, grab a drink, and then we're going to sit down and wait for the good food to come out. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys. Okay, I'm with Miranda. Miranda, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Me. What are you making for us tonight? We're making a boneyard lemonade. Ooh, okay, let's see you put this together. Alright.
Okay, so we got the Boneyard Lemonade by Miranda. Let's try this. Oh, that's good. That's refreshing. Nice job. There it is, drink of the night. We're gonna go have some food. We got our Boneyard Lemonade. We're gonna take it over to the table and uh, gonna start bringing some food out to us. See you guys over there. Here we go. Pulled pork nachos. Oh my lord. Got homemade nachos, jalapenos, melted cheddar, shredded cheddar, honey sauce in there, homemade barbecue sauce on there. Okay. And this is how it comes. This is this so, is a regular order. Yeah, that's your regular order. Let's bring the appetite. My God. That a lot of people awesome. they order that and they think it's an appetizer. Right. They get it. It's a full, it's yeah. a meal. Yeah, then he mouth dry. Oh, it then looks then awesome, man. Thank you so much. Enjoy. All Enjoy. right, here we go. So. We're gonna get one. We're gonna try to get a little bit of everything on there. I got these homemade chips that look incredible. So I got some pulled pork. I got a little bit of everything on there. Some cheese. Let's try this baby. Wow. You know what? You could tell the bag type of chips. These are fried here. What a great flavor to them, and all this pulled pork, and the cheese, and the sour cream, and, and the salsa. Absolutely. Mm. Gotta tell you, man. This is absolutely insane. This is delicious. This is a full meal right here, not an appetizer. All right, they're bringing out a lot more food. They're, they're plating our stuff in the back, so I'm gonna start eating some of this. See you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so we just finished some of the nacho platter they brought out. Now we got the char-grilled wings, which are one of my favorite types of wings. I, I've really become accustomed to them, and I like how they just like fall off the bone. Dip a little in this blue cheese. Oh, that's good. You know what? Man, that char-grilled taste right off the bat, man. Hits your tongue, and it's... I can't explain it, but when you try grilled wings like this, they are so tender and they got great flavor to them. things of barbecue is burnt and briskets and you don't get them too often around here but tonight he's got them on a hoagie so there it is right there burnt and briskets and a big hoagie roll let's try this out Tell ya, that barbecue sauce, different taste to it. Almost like a little smokiness to it, and those burnt ends. You know what? Outside, they're really crispy. Boy, they're as tender as can be. This is your rib tips on Texas toast. Ooh, rib. Some baked beans. Oh man, looks, oh my goodness. Look at this. All right, trying to explain this. It's gonna be a little different. I, I, I really can't explain. I mean, you taste that smokiness of the barbecue, but these are some of the most tender pieces of meat I think I've had. And now they're, they're cooked in with the baked beans, which gives it a whole nother element. That's some Dick's Texas toast. All right, man. Mm. That's pretty insane. Barbecue sauce. Oh my lord. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Oh, the food just keeps coming out. Everything has been absolutely amazing. I gotta tell you, probably some of the best barbecue we've had. 
in five seasons of the show, it's just out of this world. Everything is incredible. You can see there's not much left, and they keep bringing more plates out, so we're doing a pretty good job eating it. So that's up next on my on my hit list. Yeah, some chicken and ribs. Oh Lord, look at that! <laughs> you guys did too much. I got you covered. Good, awesome job, man. Some of the best barbecue hands down around. Right here. Thank you. Oh my God, I can't. I can't even eat a bite right now. Honest to God, I can't. I, I just no way I can take a bite of any of this food right now. A few moments later. Yep. That's all I can say. Let's finish up a great show here at the Boneyard Barbecue in Sylvan Beach. I want to thank Donnie and Toby for having us come back and check out the place. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And I did all the drinking tonight. Look at it. He's like hung over here. How are you, buddy? Thanks for having us here. We had a great time tonight. I got to tell you, we've done over 300 restaurants throughout New York in six years. We've done a bunch of barbecue places. I gotta say, this may be one of the best barbecue places we have ever ate at. So, Woo! yeah, right here, man. Yeah, awesome body, man. And, and, and the food just kept coming out. And we did try just about everything they served us, and everything no, was incredible. Know. But I did take a bite of the chicken. It was the only thing I did sample. I had a few other things. <laughs> See? So, if you haven't been here, make sure you come check this place out. It's up in Sylvan Beach, Boneyard Barbecue. The guys are great. The staff is fantastic. We met a lot of great people tonight. They got live music here. It's a great place to hang out. And come down Sundays, they got the NFL ticket. And they got the char-grilled wings. You can try some of those. Those are out of this world. So, I'm going to be leaving for the night. I'll definitely be back to visit these guys. You guys come check them out. I'm Bill Vinci, host of the Empire Play Show. You guys have a great night. Yeah.